Fido from Self Taught Hustle back at it again. And today I will be showing you guys how to convert a string a data type into an array. This video should be pretty simple. Um, but yeah, so essentially uh, a scenario in uh, which you may find yourself uh, doing this is where you have a string um, and in that string, there's a character uh, that you need to remove. Say, for example, we wanted to remove that uh, this B character. OK, well, uh, in order to do so, we would have to make this uh, string workable, right? Meaning that you could kind of you could you could write code to extract uh, this specific B character. And uh, one of the ways to do that is if you convert the string into an array. Right. So the way that you do that in uh, JavaScript is actually uh, very simple. So we set uh, the the data type here, the string data type to a variable by the name of string. Right. And what we're going to do is uh, we're going to reference that string and then we're going to use the dot operator here to then uh, call the split function. Right. And inside of this split function, what we're going to do is that we're going to add um, uh, we're going to add two quotation marks, right? Two single quotation marks. We're going to get, we're going to hit save. And then uh, we're going to log this out uh, to, well, actually let's set it to an array, right? Because it's an array now. So we're going to set it to a variable by the name of array. And then what we're going to do is that we're going to console log uh, the array out to the browser. Okay. So there you go. And if you come over here, you actually see this, uh, th that string, uh, with an array uh, as an array now, right? And each letter, as you can see, is indexed. So you have Z, 9, X, 4, X, T, Y, B, right? And this is uh, this is pretty good because this uh, string is now workable, right? So if we want to, for example, um, because it's an array now, if we want to iterate through that array, we can just uh, use a for each function here, right? And then for each, remember, it takes an anonymous function. Oh. Right. And then uh, this is going to the, the parameter we pass is the value that represents um, is going to represent each of the each of the letters in this in this array. Right. So we're going to say uh, letter. So for each letter, uh, we're going to um, console log that letter. Right. Now, if we go back over here to our console, you see now that we're logging each one of the letters, right? So now, like any other array, we're iterating through each piece of the array, each item, right? Each indexed item. So if we wanted to isolate this B, we can. And uh, that's something that I'll be showing you guys how to do in uh, the coming videos. But um, say that, uh, for example, uh, where we've done what we needed to do with this array and we want to put it back together uh, into a string, all we have to do is reference the array once more. And then now we're going to use uh, the join uh, method or the join function uh, via this star operator from that array. And then to validate that it worked here, let's remove this console log here. Uh, we can actually take this whole piece of code out. We'll just comment it out. Comments there. And then uh, we'll console log this array.join. And you'll see here that we have a string format again. Now, the thing is, is, um, is that when you don't pass a parameter into this join function, uh, it's going to give you the, these commas, which is, doesn't actually make it workable uh, or makes it kind of annoying if you, you need the string to be united uh, or, or brought back together without those commas. So how you remove those is uh, just by adding a single quotation mark there. No space in between. Save it. And then all of a sudden you have the string put back together, right? So theoretically, something you could do is you can split the string, uh, loop through, the, uh, split the string into an array, loop through the array with, uh, that has each of the characters. And then if we wanted to target that B, we could target that B, remove that B. And then when everything is said and done, uh, reunite uh, the, this, uh, that array into a string, right? That'd be one of uh, the ideal scenarios or one of the scenarios in which you could uh, use uh, both the split and uh, the join methods here. But yeah, um, so hope that that was helpful for you guys. Uh, we'll be um, we'll be doing a little bit more work on uh, the, uh, this particular function, the split function. Uh, we'll be working more with it. And uh, yeah, 
Uh, if you guys have any questions, leave it in the comment section below. Thank you and bye.